Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in the simplest possible way. In this video, we will discuss how we can take input from the user. To take input from the user, we have a method called input. So here, I am using this method input so that I could, so whenever I am executing this input, I am getting something like this to enter input. I am giving input as hello. So I am getting something like this. This is kind of an output that I am getting in Jupyter Notebook. Let's say I will be storing this input to some variable so that I could use this variable further. I So that I am using this input variable and I will be storing this whatever the input that you are giving in my input variable. I am giving the input as hello. So let us go ahead and see what exactly in my input variable. I am having the data of hello in the input variable. If you carefully observe here, when I am, whenever I am executing this, I will be getting something like this, which does not have any type of information to the user what user needs to enter. So to mention what user needs to enter, we will be giving some prompt to the user so that user can understand what user need to enter that we can pass in here itself. I am giving the prompt as enter any input. So in input itself, we can actually pass this prompt so that user can see and understand what user needs to give. So if you carefully observe, I am getting enter any input. So I am giving as hi. So in my input, what I have is hi. So this is how we can actually pass this prompt and user can see what user needs to give. So if you carefully observe, if you, uh, if you see what type of data in this input variable, I have str. So Python by default take str type from input. So if I wanted to take let's say integer variable or integer value or float value, I need to do type casting. What exactly this type casting we have discussed in our previous video more detailed. So to simplifyly explain what exactly type casting is, type casting is the process of converting one type of data to another type of data. Let's say here I wanted to take input of integer type so that I will be passing this input to input in integer in put I am asking user to enter any number. So I will be storing this in my input. So instead of input variable, I will be storing in my int variable. I am passing this. I am passing this input to int so that the type of str type to convert it into int so that I could use integer variable further. Let's say I am giving four. If I go and check what exactly the type of this input variable is of of integer type, I am getting the integer type where after I have converted this str type to integer type. Let's say I want to, I want float type. So for that, I can use float and I can pass input to float. Enter, enter float value. So I am storing this in float variable so whenever i am executing i can actually see this kind of result and i am actually passing 4.5 if i go ahead and check the type of this float f l a o t that is what i have given my variable name so i can actually see float so this is the basic data type conversions and if i go ahead and see ordered sequences what exactly like say list tuple something like that some advanced data types that also we can actually convert from the user input let's say i am i want list from the user i will be asking user to enter enter list of values so i will be storing this in my list variable and whenever i'm executing this so that i will put uh, the input i will be passing is one two three four and let's see what i have in my in list variable i have this list of values one two three four though i have given without any separation without any spaces or without any comma 
the input is taken like this and stored in this particular way and if you carefully observe we have single quotes here which is referred as we have of str type in the whole list like this we can actually convert the default str type while taking input to any type of data that we want so in this video we have discussed how we can take input from using input method and also how we can actually pass this prompt so that you can user can understand we have also discussed some of the type conversions because python by default take input as str and what if i tell you there is a special method called eval so that by using that method eval you can take input of any type instead of passing this int float list something like this so we will discuss more about eval in our next video if you find this video interesting hit the like button and subscribe for more that's it for this video see you in the next one